All right, so we have two points of varying charge, and we want to know the electric field at a third point. It's a pretty straightforward problem. It's not um not too challenging. So uh, first, we could start by grabbing the vectors and the distances between the two points. We need a we need a uh, a vector between these two points and a vector between P2 and P3 as well. P1 and P3 and P2 and P3. So we'll do P1 and P3 first, we'll call it P13, do that to show it's a vector. Um, 0.1 minus 0.3, so 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 2 minus negative 2 is 4, 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Find the magnitude, P13. Um, so that'd be this, just in a Pythagorean. So you just square every element, and then you square root it. This is really a negative four squared, but um, realize that doesn't matter. Actually, no, no, I'll put negative four there, just just to make it, so you guys don't get confused. Square root. So that's uh, nine plus sixteen. Plus another 16, and what is that? 32 plus 9. Uh, man, I suck at math, dude. Uh, 32 plus 9. I just woke up, so I'm a little like. 41. Man, it took me forever. 41. Okay. So we have all that. And uh, what do I want to do next? Well. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and find the other vector here, the vector at p two three. So p two three, same, doing the same thing here. Uh, one minus negative three is four. Two minus four is negative two. Three uh, minus negative two is five. Magnitude, same thing. Take each element, square it. 4 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 5 squared. And that's going to equal 16 plus 4 plus 25. And that'll be... I'm getting on my freaking calculator because I'm super lazy today. Uh, 16 plus 4 is 20. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so bad, dude. 45. Wow. Okay. So now we have these. We have the the vector direction of each one of each. Uh, we have vectors for each point distance, and then we have the distance between the two points. So all that's left is to use uh, um, the electric field equation, which is this in black. E equals q over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. And notice the only difference between um, the electric force and the electric field is that you're not considering a second charge. So it's basically just like um, you're not worrying about the point, about the charge at that point. So like P3, it doesn't have a charge. So we just always know what the electric field will look like. So it's a little more general. It's not as specific as like the electric force. So now um, we would just do two of these because we have two different points. So e total, actually I'll still do it in black. E total equals. I'll do this part in green. Um, Q that is 25 nanocoulombs, I believe. Over four pi epsilon naught uh, r squared, which would be forty one. Actually, I'll just write forty. No, nah, I'll, I'll write it squared so you know what I'm doing. Forty one squared times the vector. What's this vector? Three four negative four. Negative 
4 over the square root 41. Easy enough. And remember, we're just multiplying by a unit vector here just to get the correct direction. And this will be plus 60 nanocoulombs, 4 pi epsilon naught, square root of 45 squared times um, 4 negative 2 5 over square root of 45. And um, yeah, from here you basically just solve. You can throw it in a calculator or just solve it by adding adding the two. I mean, uh, it's all known material now. You just simply do a little bit of arithmetic, and then you could you could either add the vectors or you know do what you want with it. It really depends on what you're looking for at this point. Also, a good thing to notice, and I haven't said this in a few other videos, notice that um, I'm just throwing an epsilon naught here. That's not exactly true, because it said, if you look, it says if e equals, or if epsilon equals epsilon naught, which basically means it's in free space. But just know that this isn't always a, a guarantee. Usually you have to do a, you know, you have to find out what epsilon is, and then epsilon would go right here. But in our case, epsilon is equal to epsilon naught, so I just threw it right in. But other than that, you know, that's that's basically the whole problem. Thanks for watching. Bye.